Jessica Bernstein, and my project is the name was color. When I was in second grade, I had trouble reading. By the time I had gotten to the end of the word, I had already forgotten what the letters at the beginning of the word name. This was a really discouraging process for me. Has anyone else here struggled learning how to read or teaching someone else how to read? My cousin Jonathan suggested researching dyslexia. He had found out a few years back he was dyslexic and he wished he was a younger kid. So my mom started researching dyslexia and found out people with dyslexia think in tornadoes, with their thoughts spiraling in and out of their memory. People without dyslexia think like ladders, stacking their thoughts on top of each other, cementing their thoughts into their memories. People with dyslexia also have less synapses. Synapses is when the right and the left side of your brain are trying to connect and push information over from the right, right short to memory side of the brain over to the left long to memory side of the brain. So when you have less synapses, it's harder to get information to the long to memory side of your brain, which makes it hard to retain information. After doing research on dyslexia, we found out I am dyslexic. I needed tools to help me conquer dyslexia and learn how to read. So we found out that colorful words and pictures both help people to remember more information. So I started using colorful see-through sticky sheets like this and holding them up to my board like this, um, but like this, so I can read with color. After I started using the colorful see-through sticky sheets, I saw a dramatic change in how I could finally read. But on top of using the colorful words, I did lots of brain integration exercises. So now I am wondering if the colorful words actually helped me learn how to read, or if it was just the brain integration exercises that got me where I needed to be. So my research question is, will colorful words help people to retain more information than black and white words? Colors matter, such as red stop signs and red, yellow, and green traffic lights. When you see a certain color, it triggers a chemical reaction in your body to make you think and feel a certain way. As example, when you see the color red, you think stop, help, and danger. And when you see the color green, you think go, safety, and welfare. After, when using the colorful word method, you want to have a contrasting background to make the word pop even more. Colorful words do a lot of things, but some of the things that colorful words do is they act as a bridge between the right and the left side of the brain, helping information cross to the other side. Colorful words help strengthen your synapses. Colorful words help you focus on what you're reading instead of dazing off looking at more interesting things in the room. As you can see here, I have a black and white side and a colorful side on my board. Whose eyes gets drawn more to the colorful side rather than the black and white side? The colorful side is much more fun and interesting to look at. After doing research in color, I hypothesize colorful contrasting and vivid words will help people to connect the right and the left side of the brain for a stronger long-term memory. Therefore, the test participants will remember a higher percentage of colored words than black and white words. So I put together study and test sheets to help me answer the question, will colorful words help people to retain more information than black and white words? So by using the study and test sheets to answer my question, my hypothesis was supported correctly. As you can see here, the black bars represent the black and white words, and the pink bars represent the colorful words. Three out of five of the tests I did, there were more colorful words remembered. Out of all five of the tests I did, there were 12 more colorful words remembered. Although that might seem like a very small number, all I need is a 5.0 increase for it to be statistically significant. And I had a 6.6 increase. In conclusion, I think my testing went really well. There are no major problems. I wish there was an even bigger increase in the remembered colored words, but I believe if study and test books were written in a day-to-day -day basis in colored words and students have the option to learn a color, students' academic success would be raised significantly. Thank you so much for listening to Memory with Color. Are there any questions? And the first yeah. prize, grand prize winner is Jessica Brand. Woo!